Hey you guys, uh, let's go ahead and do a video on how we can do some calculations on variables. Okay, so I have this little data set here. Let's say that uh, we're trying to track how much time people spend on their phone in a week. And we have this pre-test and then maybe we take them either through training or we try to give them a uh, tracking app to help them kind of minimize their time. And we'll see, so that was the time before and we have this time after they went through this treatment. So this is a really good kind of like matched pairs uh, scenario. So first of all, let's grab our data. So let's just copy this guy. And after we copy it, uh, let's bring it over into our commander. So we'll just import our data set. So we overwrote it, but that's okay. I had some other stuff in here. So I've got my time on phone pre, time on phone post, and I've got some satisfaction over here. Okay, so now that I've got that in there, uh, maybe I want instead of just like this time on the phone pre and the post, maybe I want to do the pre minus the post because I think the pre is going to, I'm hoping to see that you know, people reduce the amount of time that they spent on the phone. Or I could do post minus pre uh, as if I wanted to see a negative number. Anyhow, th there's lots of things that we could do if we wanted to try to do some calculations on this. Uh, so one thing that we can do is if we go to our basic statistics and we go to our data, we can go down to manage variables. And one thing down here is this third one says compute a new variable. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this guy. So it gives me a whole bunch of variables. And I'm going to give this my new name. And I'm going to name this, uh, we'll do post minus pre. That's going to be my new variable name. And the expression that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the post and then just type in a minus sign and then the pre. And right now I can go ahead and click OK. Oh, it got angry at me for this pre minus post. It looks like I probably need to do an underscore. So we'll do uh, post minus, sorry, not minus. I'm going to do an underscore, underscore pre. We should be able to do an underscore. If not, we'll just get rid of that. All together. So we'll do post minus pre. Click OK. And let's look at, let's view my data set and check this out. Now I've got this new data set that's called post pre. And so what I'm doing is post minus pre. And so if I get a negative number, it means that I'm spending less time after I've gone through this treatment program or have been tracking my time with some app. Uh, and we see that I've got a whole bunch of negatives. Now, not all of them are negatives. Like I've got a zero. There wasn't any difference there. Let's see if I have any positives anywhere. I should have like a positive somewhere in here. Um, cause I was subtracting the two. I guess not. Well, it doesn't matter. So subtracted these guys and we see that it looks like that these are kind of negative. And so that's an easy way that we can do that where we can subtract two variables from each other because maybe that's what I'm looking for is like if I was doing match pairs, I'm really interested in the difference, not in the actual values for any one of these, but how much does this application or does this treatment look like that it's reducing the phone usage. So that's a super handy one. Uh, we can do all sorts of things though uh, with that calculating a new variable. Uh, let's try another one. We'll do maybe post two, and maybe I just want to multiply my post by two. I don't know why that would be useful, but I can show you how we can do it. We can do this post multiplied by two, and we can go ahead and click OK. And now we have this post times two. Maybe these were uh, were too big or something. Um, let, let me do another example. Let's say that maybe these are in hours and we want them in minutes. Well, and maybe we want the post minus pre in terms of minutes. Okay, so we can do some more complicated stuff then too. Let's go to our basic statistics, data, manage, and let's compute a new variable. And let's do, I'll do post underscore pre and then we'll type, we'll call this, oh, sorry, put that in the wrong spot. Let's put this over here. Post minus pre in terms of minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna do my post divided by, or we'll say multiplied by 60. And then we're gonna do minus my phone, my pre time. And I'm going to put a parenthesis there. 
oopsies, wrong direction. And we're going to multiply by 60. We'll close that off and we'll go ahead and click OK. And now if we see this, check this out. Now I've gotten my post minus pre in terms of minutes. Now I could have just done my post minus pre and multiplied that guy by 60. But now I have this in terms of minutes instead of hours. So there's lots of things that we can do if you need to kind of combine variables together to form a, uh, a, different, uh, a, a different column. Uh, and that's how you go go through and do it. Basic calculations of combining multiple, um, oh, com combining these like two different variables together uh, to get some sort of composite.